Hey, good day, guys. Um, we earlier made a a video on um, the re reactions, right? Um, to test for jaundice and um, bilirubin level. Okay. Um, jaundice is bilirubin level, all right? So um, the most prominent of these was Vandenberg reaction because it can be used to to, to know the various um the types of jaundice, all right? There are three types of jaundice, and this Vandenberg reaction can be used, all right, to know the type of jaundice that is already um is like um affecting the patient. Okay, now we said that the test is useful in determining the nature of what the jaundice as high okay as high serum concentration of unconjugated bilirubin signifies what hemolytic jaundice increased conjugated of of con, um, increased concentration of conjugated bilirubin signifies what obstructive jaundice and presence of both signifies what hepatic jaundice okay so um in the reaction when you add serum to uh, when you add vandenberg reagent to serum when it gives you a purple coloration, uh, the principle re behind this reaction is that diaxonized uh, sulfonylic acid in the above reacts with bilirubin to give the purple color. All right, all right. Now, um, this is um, a, a diagram of uh, the Vandenberg reaction. All right, let's move. We said that bilirubin is insoluble. Why conjugated bilirubin is what soluble? The conjugated bilirubin reacts with what Vandenberg reason to give what um, um, purple coloration immediately. All right, that's normally within 30 seconds. Now, this is referred to as what direct positive Vandenberg reaction. Now, addition of methanol dissolves the unconjugated what bilirubin, all right, which then gives a positive Vandenberg reaction normally after 30 minutes, right. Now, this is indirect what Vandenberg what reaction. Now, if the serum con con contains both conjugated and unconjugated bilirubin in high concentration, the purple color is produced immediately, right? That's direct, which is further intensified by addition of what methanol. When you add methanol, the purple color intensifies. Now, this type is what biphasic, okay? So I think, um, um we have um a summary here uh the direct vandenberg reaction shows that you have an obstructive what um uh sorry the indirect vandenberg reaction shows that you have hemolytic jaundice direct positive shows that you have obstructive and biphasic shows that you have what hepatic what jaundice okay so this guy is um this is a relation of vandenberg reaction determine the types of jaundice okay see you guys in the next tutorial and bye for now